So hello everybody, in today's video we're going to talk about logarithmic scales. We're going to talk about when to use it and why they are useful when visualizing things. One of the most famous logarithmic visualizations at the moment is, has been created by the Financial Times reporting on the coronavirus. And you, I'm sure you've seen it everywhere. So it reports here the number of cases after a hundred, a country hit a hundred confirmed case. And then it shows here the number of total cases, but it shows it on a logarithmic scale. So if you show it on a linear scale, it would look like this. And they decided to use a logarithmic scale. Now, the question is, why would they do that? And to, the, to explain that, we need to explain how logarithmic scales work. And that is what we're going to do into this video. So let's explain it with an example, because I think that is the easiest way to show what's going on and why these things are useful. What you're seeing in here is a very simple chart that has uh, sales by month. Let me put it in table form. And then uh, it is plotted on a line chart. As you can see, this company sold on January 10 units and then on February it sold 10 more, 20, so this is accumulated. And then it sold 30, so it's basically selling 10 units more a month. Now, if you look at this graph, you might think, that, oh, we are doing okay, we're growing. And yes, you, this company is definitely growing, but it looks like a quite nice growth. Is that the truth though? Let's look at this in another way. If we actually put in the percent of change, so how much growth this company is getting every month, you can see that from 10 to 20, it actually, let me hope it, it actually grew, grew 100%. And then from 20 to 30, then suddenly it's grown only 50%. 33, 25, 20, you can see because it's, only, it's always growing the same amount of time, the growth is actually slowing down. You cannot see that on a line chart with a linear scale. It's just not possible. The best way to plot this is to use a logarithmic scale. Let me show you. It will show a better picture of what's actually going on with the growth of this company. So if we go in here and we put uh, a logarithmic axis and then you see this logarithm at 10 so 10 100 and uh, a thousand so it's multiplying by 10 on each step you can see that this is a more accurate view of the actual growth for this company so it is basically showing you that the growth rate is slowing down even if it looks like it's it's not exponential but it's a stream growth on a line chart you can see on the logarithmic axis that that is not the case, actually. It is, the growth is actually slowing down curvely. And that is probably giving you an idea of the Financial Times chart and why they use it. But let me show you another example when logarithmic scales could be useful too. So, for example, here, if we have a data set that we have extreme values in between, for example, you have here sales by products, product A and B sales a ton, while the rest of the products do not sell anything. And you put these as a bar chart or a column chart. You're going to see that, okay, we are not seeing any growth in here. We cannot compare things because the growth is so despair. So one way could be to cut this graph so you can actually see the other staples. Another way you can do this is you can actually do like that and then let me show you we're going to change again the axis to a logarithmic axis and now you can actually start to see a little bit better the pattern of growth but there is a big bat as to this a lot of people cannot read or interpret logarithm scales at all so as a data analyst if you are such or as a business user that i produce and reports for other people be careful when you're using logarithmic scales. If you are using them, make sure that it is clearly shown that that is the case because it will fall off a lot of people that are not used to read charts and not used to read logarithmic scales and think that this is actual growth without looking at the axis, okay? 
Now, if we very quickly go back to our uh, logarithmic chart, uh, to the financial times chart, and we go to the linear chart, this is the way that you would display normal data, right? You will say, okay, so this is the number of days after 100 cases, and then you can see here, and you can see the rate is going to, again, the same example as in the beginning, it's going up, and then you can say, oh my god, this is not slowing down. The best way to display growth, it is by a logarithmic scale, where you can actually start to see the percentage of growth, and this gives a more accurate picture of the actual growth, in this case, of the coronavirus disease. So... I really hope that this explains why they're using logarithmic scales and then it gives you a, a little introduction into logarithmic scales and how to use it and when to use it. So this is all for today. I'll see you again next week. And until then, as always, take care and bye bye.